Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of the Fogo Life. I'm your host, Captain Ron. Today we've got something different. We're bandwagon jumping. That's right, we're jumping on the bandwagon of these party ribs. And today, we're gonna make them ourselves. Now the biggest advantage to these viral sensation ribs is that they cook much faster. Total of about two and a half hours from start to finish. We're gonna coat them in rub. We're gonna coat them on all sides and fully coat them in rub. We're gonna smoke them in a big green egg using some barrel proof chunks for that super smoky flavor. After that, we're gonna transfer them to a foil pan, cover them with some barbecue sauce, some butter, brown sugar, cover that pan and cook it for an additional half hour. Then we're gonna remove that foil cover, cook it for 15 minutes more, get them nice and sticky and tacky, just the way we like them. And for today's cook, we're gonna be using these beautiful St. Louis ribs. You can use back ribs for this, baby backs. You can use St. Louis. I like St. Louis because they have a little bit more meat, but they're not quite as beefy as a spare rib. So St. Louis for me. The one thing I always find is they have this kind of thin end down the back here. So I'm gonna take that right off. I'm gonna cut it right inside this first bone here, straight across. So there we have our beautiful rack. They don't need, really need any cleaning up here. There's no extra fat on here. We can cut this little flap off, a little skirt steak if we want to. Again, just to reiterate, I am leaving the uh, membrane on. If you want to pull it off, that's up to you. Have at it, okay? I don't think there's any right or wrong when it comes to these. But what we're gonna do here now is you're gonna take the ribs and you can see where the bones are. We're gonna cut in between each bone. We want each individual rib out separate. So we'll start down this end here and work our way down. Just make sure you're getting right in between. You can feel, as you run your fingers across, you can feel that where the bone is. Just make sure you're going right in between the bones. And there we have it. There are all of our ribs. Beautiful, nice, you can see nice and meaty. They got a nice fat layer in there. These are gonna be some good tasting ribs right here. This, this, this recipe is almost too simple. The only thing we have to do now is season them up. So I'm gonna grab my seasoning and load these babies up. All right, so we're gonna start with our notorious PIG seasoning here. All right, made by PS Seasoning. It's got a nice little kick to it. It's got a little heat. So I'm just gonna knock the barbecue prep tub up here a little bit, and we're gonna give them a nice coat. I'm gonna use two different rubs. We're gonna use this one, and we're gonna use Grill Girl Robin's for Ribbian Sunshine here. So we wanna make sure we're getting a good coating. Don't forget, we're gonna cover all sides so we can go with some extra here and just mix them up. Mix them up, hit them again until they're fully coated. All right, now just for some extra flavor, we're gonna hit them with Grill Girl Robin's Sunshine State of Mind. It's got a nice little hint of citrus and sweetness to it, so it's gonna be a really nice uh, mixture with that PIG seasoning. Now, my favorite part, I'm gonna go ahead and light the grill. All right, I've already got a load of charcoal in the big green egg from last time we cooked, so let's go check it out and see if we need some more. I had somebody ask me recently, don't you hate just throwing out all that charcoal? Whoa, I said, what? They said, oh, when I get done with my cook, I, you know, close it down, then I throw out that charcoal. Don't ever do that. You can see, we've got a used batch of charcoal in here already now. This is, we used this to cook on once already. It's still good. You can use this over and over again, okay? Until it's all gone and not, and just down to ash. So I wanna make sure that you understand you can do it. I highly suggest you get this, you kick ash basket. It makes clean out a lot easier. You just shake it, get all that ash out, and then clean the bottom out. Now the difference between lighting up brand new charcoal and some used charcoal, it's exactly the same. You're gonna put your two starters inside your blazer ball, same way you always would, close it up, just set it right in the middle. Now again, you can see, here's all our used stuff. So what you wanna do is kind of build itself a little TP, put some on top so that the charcoal can catch fire. Okay, the blazer ball is gonna protect it and still allow it to burn and catch all that charcoal on fire. Now, you thought that was your pro tip on how to use your old charcoal, right? No, no, here's the pro tip. We made a video on this and so we proved it to be right. When you're using your old charcoal, mix in some fresh stuff with it. It's gonna burn a lot better, a lot cleaner, a lot hotter. It's gonna just burn more evenly. You can use just the old stuff, but adding some fresh in will actually help your fire immensely. And while the grill is heating up, we're gonna add our smoking chunks in. We're using these. These are our barrel-proof bourbon barrel smoking chunks. Ah, party in the bag. They are made from actual barrels that were used to distill bourbon in. So I'm gonna add three of them in here, okay? Right into the center. So we get right, smoke on these ribs right away, okay? And we're gonna go indirect today. So we're gonna be cooking with our deflector in, AKA convector, All right? So we're gonna stick this in here. Let everything complete heating up with the grill. While it's heating up, we're gonna go to 275, and we're gonna throw these ribs on there, let them go for an hour and three quarters. This is up to temperature at 275 degrees, so we're gonna just put our ribs on, bone side down. Okay, we want the meat side up for this first section. We're gonna put them all on here, leave space in between them so that they can breathe. Let the smoke get to them all around. We're gonna let them go, covered, for one hour and 45 minutes. 
And with that, we're about an hour into our cook, so let's check them out and see what we got going. Oh yeah, look at that. They are developing some beautiful color. They're cooking nice and evenly. Gorgeous, right? Now, the only thing I'm gonna do to them, I'm gonna give them a quick spritz. Okay, we're about an hour in, so I'm just gonna give them a quick spritz. Keep them nice and moist on top. That's all, nothing fancy here. Just a little, little juicing here. We'll let them go for about another 45 minutes. The timer is going off, which means that we're at one hour and 45 minutes in. On to our next step. We're gonna take them out, we're gonna put them in here, put some sauce on them, put some butter, some brown sugar, cover them up, let them get nice and tacky, almost like a burnt ends kind of thing is what we're gonna do here. So look at these babies. Oh man, they are gorgeous, bubbling, the color is absolutely amazing looking. And now they're all tucked down in there, gorgeous. This is real simple, this next part is really super simple. All we're gonna do is gonna add some fats in there, some butter, gonna put a bunch of sauce in here, I'm gonna use PS seasoning, peach buzz, I love this stuff. We're just gonna sprinkle some brown sugar, that's all we're gonna do. So we'll go ahead and move along to the next step. Now this next step is really where we build our tenderness. So what we're gonna do is we have this in here with all of our good stuff we just put on there. We're gonna cover it tightly so that it seals up and it's gonna basically cook in its own steam and juices. That's really gonna tenderize these ribs and make them super, super, super tender. All right, so for the last part two, we're gonna keep the temperatures the same at 275. So we are all set to go back on. It's gonna go on for about a half hour. Ready? Here we go. To the grill. <laughs> And here we are back again at two hours and 20 minutes in. So we're almost done. They are smelling incredible. Let's check it out. All right, so our next step is gonna be to take this off, uncover them. Look at that, look at all those juices. They are gonna be just absolutely insane. For the last part, I'm just gonna open up this bottom vent a bit, get some air going through there and heat up this fire. Just gonna put them on for about 10 minutes just like this, and it's okay to do it while it's heating up. The idea is I want to just get a little bit stickier, a little bit tackier. So about 10 minutes, some higher heat. Oh, they're gonna be so good, I wish that you could smell them. Oh, it's worth it. Check it out. Here's what the deal is. They are done. They've been going for about a half hour like this, but you can tell here, the probe just sinks right in. Plus we're at, let's see, 201, 203. So they're all at 195, 198, 201. Okay, they're all there, but the way that this just goes in, I don't have to put any pressure, it just sinks right through the meat. You know that's how it's done. But you should see these things, look at them. They are gorgeous. See what I mean? Seasoning all around, all sides have the seasoning. Look how beautiful and shiny and glossy these things are. Oh my goodness. All right, it's my favorite time and yours, taste test time. Hey, listen, I wanna remind you here, if you like it, what we're doing here, do us a favor, subscribe, join the Fogo family, okay? Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, hit that like button, and leave us a comment down below. Tell us what your favorite thing to barbecue is. Actually, more importantly, we wanna know what would you like to see us make in a video? We wanna cover what you wanna see. So, let's go right in, and now, finally, the taste test. Look at that rib, I mean, just so much flavor. I keep repeating myself, I know, but they're so saucy, so nice and sticky and tacky the way they're supposed to be. My favorite time, and hopefully yours too. Good Lord. Mm, look at that bite. That's a perfect bite through bite. And it's tender too. I didn't have to try at all. Went right through. I know that you're waiting for my review, but uh, here's my review. <laughs> Yeah, so that is one mighty tasty rib. I will definitely be doing these again. I can see why they're popular. Party ribs, two and a half hours, done, start to finish. That's all I've got for you this week, folks. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it, that's for sure. One thing I want you to remember to do, get out and grill. And I'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life. Captain Ron, 